Hey, what's going on guys, Arava here, and welcome back to another Last of Question Mark Challenge, then here today for the 2018 British Grand Prix, and we're driving as Lewis Hamilton in his Mercedes car, of course, he got a pole position on the Saturday, let's see if he convert that to a win, but we're going to be trying to get him a win from last place on the grid, obviously, pretty good place for the Mercedes car, so I'm pretty confident we could maybe do it, we have not won a single race in this Last of Question Mark Challenge so far in 2018, we got a Pretty damn close last time out, trying to win the Austrian Grand Prix with uh, Max Verstappen. But here for the actual home race for the driver we're, we're racing as, hopefully we can try and do that. But if you are new around here and unfamiliar, we are doing a 25% race here. So short and sweet, you have to make the moves count when they matter and try and make the opening laps definitely uh, as quickly as we can but make those overtakes happen. Because last time with the, uh, with the Verstappen challenge, really I think that's what happened is we got held up a little bit too much in the opening laps and that allowed the top cars to really get away too much for us to close the gap in the last couple of laps so we need to make sure uh, we get it done it's going to be easier said than done because obviously the first sector is very tight and twisting here at Silverstone so we're going to have to try and uh, thread our car like a needle uh, through a haystack I guess you could say but uh, on the strategy then it's going to be a one stop super soft tyres to the soft tyres we're going to stick with that and be on the fastest tyre at the beginning to make those punchy overtakes and we're going to fill up near three laps plus of fuel on the car six 16 laps on board, but there's only 13 laps for this 25% race, so uh, it's going to be a very heavy car, but we're going to really abuse that extra fuel by running rich mix for a lot of this Grand Prix base, and really flex the muscles of that Mercedes engine in the back of our car. So here we go then, to the five red lights for the last to question mark challenge with Lewis Hamilton at the 2018 British Grand Prix. To five red lights, and we're underway from P20 on the grid. Bit of wheel spin in third gear, but we get it under control. We're up into P18 straight away past the Sauber and the Williams round the outside at turn one of the other two Sauber and Williams cars, so we're already past two teams as a whole. Down the inside of both Torosos and down the inside of three more cars, up into P12. Very, very shaky under braking there. Locked up on the left front, and the rear end nearly slapped away from us, and we're just uh, about uh, around the outside of Sergio Perez there. A little bit of contact was made, but through Village. What a stonking start that has been. We're up into P11 already and we're not even at sector at the end of sector 1. Now we are and that is a great, great getaway. Now can we try and overtake Espinoc on then? The Mexican in the other force. India car going to try and go for a switchback move here on the racing line. Cut in, tighten up the car on the on the straight line there and try and get the better traction. We do so but Ocon blocks us off quite well. Fair play to him on the left hand side so now we try it on the right but into cops just doesn't work out there and so he gets the better line but we're going to get a good run into Maggot so can we try and get this on the inside we're going to have to lift off given the run we're side by side in at Maggot and Beckett we're on the grass somewhat as he's trying to force us wide and we're trying our best to keep our foot in there and uh, we're still not past him so this is the exact thing I did not want to happen that Ocon you know midfield car holds us up for longer than needs be look at that Ocon is really fighting this pushes us onto the grass on the left hand side there as we go towards Stowe we do get it eventually and we're going to be up into P10 then so we're already in the points paying positions and it wasn't even the end of lap one so a stonking start and that just proves it has got to be coming home surely after that start and meanwhile up ahead it's Sebastian Metal that leads the way and he's being attacked by Valtteri Bottas and uh, right behind him is the Red Bull car and not too far behind is the other cars of Raikkonen and the other second Red Bull car look at that whole gaggle and you can throw a blanket over these top guys for the fight for P1 down to P4 I uh, really hope it's like that in tomorrow's Grand Prix but uh, I don't know let's uh, let's uh, I don't want to jinx it but I'm also not too confident of that although it does seem pretty damn close the top three in the real life qualifying for the British Grand Prix was uber, uber close uh, on, on, on Q3. But uh, at the moment there, Valtteri Bottas then, our teammate, gets into the lead of this Grand Prix. Vettel demoted to second. So let's try and see if we can make this a Mercedes v Mercedes fight for the win of the Grand Prix by the end of it. As we go down the inside of Fernando Alonso, very, very sly and coy move there from us down the inside. Bit of contact made, but we just about slipped through there on Fernando and caught him napping and we're up into P9 now and we'll try and get on the back of the first of the two Haas cars we can see up ahead in a train there along with Nico Hulkenberg who is sandwiched in the middle of them. So first up, it's going to be Kevin Magnussen then. DRS wide open. Rich Mix flowing as well and we've got a great slipstream here on the Haas. Mercedes v Ferrari power. The Ferrari power has been very good around Silverstone this weekend in real life, but we get it down the inside, skate across the apex then and the middle of the corner and go a bit opposite lock to control that 
and we're up into B8 and you can see big train actually uh, e even still I mean it's not a huge like nose to tail train but they're all following quite close the, the rest of the top seven here so it's allowing me to close up because they're all giving each other dirty air now as we try and overtake Holkenberg on the outside have a little bit of a look not going to work he parks it on the on the apex there really well and holds it off but can we now make a move to the inside of Cobbs let's see we're going to move to the right Holkenberg he doesn't have the speed uh, Renault a little bit lacking in horsepower down the inside though Holkenberg keeps his foot in and that's a very good defensive drive from the German there and into Magnus and Beckett you're about to see what I mean about dirty air you can see going into Beckett's then just unable to keep that nose turned in as much as I want to and we have to wait and now onto the back straight onto Stowe open the DRS now and hopefully this will finally be it and uh, Hulkenberg once again putting up a good fight and just like with Ocon squeezing us towards the left hand side quite a lot there but under braking we do get it and we pounce on that and we get the apex and we're up into P7 then and now it's the second half of, uh, second half of Roman Grosjean but up ahead you can see it's then the, the two Red Bull cars of uh, Max Verstappen and Dan Ricciardo then you've got the two Ferraris and my teammate Bottas and uh, all within one shot of the mini map just about you can see there Bottas is some way away now in first place so uh, once we get past these cars you know cro uh, fingers crossed then it's going to be a case of just pushing flat out to maybe close up to our teammate. We'll see. But this train definitely is helping us in terms of just getting uh, near to these guys to make the pass. Once we get within DRS, I feel pretty confident we can make the pass. The Mercedes car obviously can really start to flex its muscles in a straight line once we get the DRS open. Obviously on the, on the game as well, the game has a lot better slipstream capabilities than in real life. Uh, dirty Air it's, uh, Dirty Air is still there in the game, but it's not as apparent as in real life, unfortunately, uh, for, for our sake in real life. But we're closing up now to Grosjean, finally through Lefield, tried to make something work, didn't quite work out on the exit, but now into the old Turn 1 Cops, and we're going to flat out this time, and this time round, unlike with the Renault, we do get that done. A little bit weird, actually, because I feel like we carry the same speed with Hulkenberg as we did there with Grosjean, but Grosjean just didn't put up much of a fight there. I don't know, maybe I just took a better line on the exit and was able to squeeze him out. And now, by lap six, we close up to Max Verstappen. Right up his gearbox soon enough, but he's going to come in, I think, for the pit stop. Yes, he is. So if it weren't for that pit stop, I think we would be overtaking Verstappen probably down the inside here. And ironically, I'll lock up into the chicane where I probably would be making the pass on the Dutchman. And so we're going to be in P3 at the moment, P2 across the line, and it's P1 as Bottas comes in. So my pit stop was going to be a lap six, but I decided to stay out for P7, of course, because Bottas was in that lap. I don't want to make a double stack. Uh, technically, my pit stop was actually lap five, I think. So I went out for two laps longer than my pit crew maybe wanted me to. And I think we're going to make the overcut work here because the super softs really didn't wear out that much. So they're doing really well. And uh, so we'll just come in for the set of soft tyres and that'll be to the end of the race. And so it's just going to be a case of praying that the Ferraris and the Red Bulls maybe caught, got caught up in traffic because, of course, there are a few cars out there on soft tyres from the start of this Grand Prix. Like Marcus Ericsson, you can see on the top left, and Charles Leclerc, both Saubers on the soft tyres from the start of this Grand Prix. And so there might be a couple of others that I might have missed that were on softs uh, from the get-go. And so they might hold up the Ferraris and the Red Bulls. And as we come out of the pit lane then, uh, so, you know, going out the gears, a little bit of uh, traction issues, but we come out of the pit lane, there is Valtteri Bottas, and there's no one else behind us. So we are up into P2. That is literally the most OP overcut ever in the game. And we already had a pretty OP overcut, I think, last time out with the challenge with Max Verstappen. But look at that. We've gained on both Red Bull cars and both Ferraris. Both Red Bulls are ahead of both Ferraris now. So both Ferraris have bottled that. And look at that, Sebastian Vettel, he's fighting the Haas and he's behind Hulkenberg now. So Vettel was the first man to pit out of the top seven and he's gone way down the order. So the undercut was not the way to go, it seems, around the British Grand Prix in this mods race at the moment. And the overcut was the one of dreams. And we're up into P2 now. And now we're closing up to the race win potentially with three laps to go in the British Grand Prix. So could this be the first time we do get a win in the last question mark challenge here in 2018 we've just got my teammate to pass Valtteri Bottas and this might be a fight we see in the real life Grand Prix maybe minus the Ferrari cars as I said they do look good in real life but in the race they've absolutely bottled it and the race here the Red Bulls are looking great but here we go down the inside now of Valtteri Bottas he puts up a good fight though little bit of contact a little bit of tire side wall rubbing but we get it on the inside we now duck to the next inside of the chicane defend our position in the apex and we do get it up into first place but that is not it yet on lap 11 now after Stone, the same place I made the pass 
off for first place. Bottas comes back for first place down the inside. We're now the ones defending on the left. And Bottas is going to squeeze us out just like we did to him. We're going to try a cheeky little dive bomb down the inside of the chicane. We'll maybe try and send him off a little bit. We hit the apex with Bottas. Just has that covered off there and into the final corners. Bottas has the better traction and just, you know, has the awareness to place his car correctly. And so he's going to keep first place. And so on to the second last half of the Grand Prix. We wait now through turn one, though, climbing. And we're gaining a little bit into Village. Maybe you have a little pop down the inside here. So the crowd might go wild on the left-hand side. Hamilton v Bottas, Mercedes v Mercedes. And we're on the outside. We've cut in a little bit tighter, though, to try and get the switchback move. Doesn't work out for us, but we will crucially have DRS. We cross the line second, and so we open up that rear flap. We reduce the drag, and so now on the right-hand side, on the long way around into the left field section, a bit of more contact made, and so a little bit of argy-bargy between teammates. But here we go, trying to squeeze the throttle to keep the foot in, keep the nose in on the inside of left field, try and squeeze Bottas out, but he's still there on the left-hand side, and crucially on the right-hand side, you can see on the heads-up display, we're a little bit iffy on fuel. That yellow icon means we're under fuel right now for the end of the Grand Prix. So now we keep it in on cops and we keep in first place but now we've got some fuel issues so we're going to go lean mixture in the middle of the Maggot to Beckett so we have to try and save some fuel now for the end of this Grand Prix and actually we're already saving the fuel as we go into Maggots there as we lift it off of course to kind of lift and coast into that corner and so now by the end of the lap now lap 13 the last half of the Grand Prix we have held it through the last chance was there into Stowe for Valtteri Bottas it hasn't worked out and so yes we will get this last to first at the British Grand Prix with Lewis Hamilton. How'd you like that? Guys, smash that like button for the first, last to first we've actually done and fully got a win from uh, P20 on the grid in this 2018 version of the last question mark challenge there with Lewis Hamilton. Obviously, Hamilton had to pull it out of the bag on a Saturday to get it ahead of the two Ferraris that look very, very strong in real life. So let's see how it's going to be in real life. Of course, this is going out on Saturday. So if you are watching this video after the real life Grand Prix, uh, let's see if I've jinxed anything, predicted anything. Always fun to see. I think last time out, I jinxed some people for sure. I think I might jinx the Renault guys. So let's see. Hopefully, uh, for the sake of British fans, I've not jinxed Hamilton here from last to first. But we'll see. We'll see. It's never been a great hunting ground for a Ferrari, especially Sebastian Vettel. But we'll see how that goes. But guys, if you have enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you aren't here, do get subscribed for weekly Fallen content. And to round it off, I just want to say it is, in fact, coming home.